um, I opened this this block with the story about secrets. And I think now we are starting to perhaps find out some of the even bigger secrets. Because now is the time in any murder case you start looking for past answers and sometimes the past actually comes to you. Tonight we have someone who claims to be from Chris Watts' past. Chris Watts' recent past. And we are not going to show you this person because he wants to continue his life without consequences for speaking out in this case. But we are going to let him tell his part of how he connects to this story. Um, this is a story that we have to be honest with you, we can't independently verify, but it is a story that could be extremely telling as we try to figure out what happened in the Watts family. This is a man who claims to be Chris Watts' former lover, and he joins me now live. Sir, can you hear me okay? I can. Um, I won't use a name for you, and I understand your panic about um, having backlash in this very public story. This is a very public case, but can you tell me how it was you first met Chris Watts? It was on an app. <clears throat> and what kind of an app was it? It, it was kind of a social media app. The app's called Meet Me. And when you met him on this app, how did he present himself? And what was the nature of him connecting with you? Um, he messaged me. It seemed all very innocent at first. On the profile, it didn't have a last name or anything. It just had his last initial. He was listed as straight and not bi or homosexual. So I was kind of off foot by it. And then we talked for a while and he just told me he wasn't really out or comfortable being out. But, but eventually you met him in person and, and take me from there. What happened? Correct. I met him in person. He came over the first time we met. He came over to the place I was staying in Loveland, Colorado, which is pretty much a neighboring town to Frederick. And when you met, um, was it clear why he was there? Did Was it clear that he wanted a romantic relationship with you or did that develop in time? It was clear that he was interested in in me and attracted to me. And how soon was it that your relationship turned romantic? That night. How long did you continue um, a sexual relationship with Chris Watts? Off and on until March or April. So how does that time out? Is that about nine or ten months? Yeah. And during about, that time, about 10 months. sorry, go ahead. About 10 months. We originally met in June last year. Okay. And during that time, did he ever tell you that he was married or had children? No, I found out when we were both out and about. Well, I knew he had children. He told me he had children. But he portrayed it, he portrayed that he was single. And when there was some point in January, late January or February that I met up with him and I got in his Ford pickup and he had his daughter's with him, and the oldest pretty much built the beans that he was still married. She asked him, I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. Um, she asked him if she could sleep with him and him and mommy tonight. And that's when I found out. 